Welcome to the channel guys. We are going to be making a stand-up treadmill office space video editing space where you guys can burn some calories while you are working or watching YouTube videos like I do in between my work. Let's get the treadmill out, show you which one it is, and we'll talk about the space. First things first, we do need to get the treadmill out of the box and inside the box, very well packed by the way. This particular treadmill has a remote control lubrication oil, which I really like as well. And look at how small that is compared to my foot. No handles, it's gonna slip right underneath the desk. I'll get you some precise measurements here. Now this is a built-in Thomasville, really nice. Not my first choice, my first choice would be my stand-up desk, which is in storage, but we will make it work with this one. It's gonna go right down below here. This is a removable file cabinet over here on this side. We will of course be moving the trash can. I shouldn't have to move my tower, which is down below my 30 inch Dell right on top. And this thing takes up little amount of room. We're looking at three feet, 10 inches long. We're looking at one foot, seven and a half inches across. Now with the treadmill this small, obviously is gonna be a little bit different than your big beefy one with some of the, obviously a lot of those key features not available in this one, but this is a walking office desk build. And so I like the small design. We're gonna to get to all the features of it. Don't worry about that one. We have our display right on top right here. The cord length is about three feet. This should fit beautifully underneath the desk. We're gonna be right back to the bill, but I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Manscaped. They have come out with so many different products now, not just their trimmer lawnmower, but a luxury nail kit, cologne, shirts, boxers. I know you've seen the advertisements, and now if you want to try it out for cheap, I got a code for you guys. So that means by using my code Binsberg20, you're going to get 20% off with free shipping your entire order. Doesn't matter if you get the performance package, the brand new crop mops, the weed whacker, a pair of boxers or two. I have like 10 pairs of these. These things are absolutely amazing. I wear them every night in kickboxing. Pick yourself up a shirt. All right, now I'm really super pumped for their newest product. This is their Crop Mops. These are individually wrapped, pH balanced wipes for your friends downstairs to stay fresh and clean. This is perfect for mountain biking, getting off before dinner, swipe them up a little bit, camping, van life. If you got somewhere to go after the gym, you don't have quite enough time to take a shower, swipe around a little bit, head off to go get some pokey bowls. Great for travel as well. Long plane rides at the airport, in between layovers, even at work to freshen up a little bit. We've all been there if you know what I'm talking about. Well, I just tried it off camera, obviously, and very refreshing, very nice. Feels like a cool summer breeze. <laughs> I like your style. Guys, I want to thank Manscaped again for sponsoring this video. So once again, using my code Binsberg20 for any purchase, you're going to get 20% off. You're going to get free shipping. That is awesome. Well, those links, everything is going to be right below the video. You guys stay safe, grab some product, use the codes. Bye-bye. Looking at the bottom here, we have our pad that obviously goes up and down. Soft pads here in the middle. We have adjustable ones here where you can level it off correctly in the back if you desire right there and there these ones are permanent standary and these ones are as well these wheels so you can lift it up from the back and roll it now this is not inclinable that's where you're going to lose the key feature of the beefier ones but obviously those are about 10 times more expensive this is going to be able to give you a nice walking workout without breaking the bank we have our on and off switch right here let's go ahead and put it under the desk next we need to remove the office chair obviously we're gonna dust underneath here. This might come in handy. We'll get to the office roller wood underneath here or some gym mats if you do want to maybe protect your hardwood flooring like we have over here. It's actually very fragile where sometimes my roller chair puts little divots in it. So I don't like that because it is hardwood flooring. So laying some gym squares, I'll have those linked in the description box below as well. I shouldn't have to move my printer either, which is right behind. Obviously, this is not my ideal setup like I mentioned earlier in the video. Now you will see a big spot right here that looks like it's dusty. That actually is scratched. So my hardwood flooring underneath would be scratched with my office chair. So this is going to come in nice and handy. A little bit of added protection.
protection. There's actually a little bit of a pad underneath this as well. And so the treadmill will go ahead and go majority of it right here. I might actually scoot that forward a little bit because the end of the treadmill is going to be right over here. So again, if you don't have this, you can go pick up. I'll link in the description box just those cheap gym garage mats that kind of come together. You could probably get away with six of them for really inexpensive to be able to do your project. Okay, so the whole goal here is I want to be right around this area here. Now, of course, I will have to raise my monitor and I will have to tilt my monitor a little bit this way. My Dell computer does do that, raises up and tilts like we see here. So that's really nice. I'm actually at the max capacity right there, but I can tilt it up a little bit like this. I have my keyboard right here. Now, obviously, like I mentioned, giving you options if you don't have a sit and stand desk, mine is in storage, and this is actually not my house. So I'm making space and use of what I do have. Now, a really inexpensive option, get something, a shoe box, whatever it might be, and you can raise your keyboard up like this. This is just simply an Ikea little box, probably cost $2, and then you would do the same thing with your mouse up here. Speed is 1 through 10 kilometers per hour, and 10 kilometers per hour is maximum 6.2 miles an hour. So 6.2 miles an hour for this is very nice. You can definitely get a nice jogging workout. Obviously no wind sprints, but you're going to be getting a good workout or walking workout. And coming up here, not 100% ideal, but quick and efficient. What I like about this setup is these books literally can go right back on the shelf. Just know how many you have, put them in the proper order, shove them back up there, make it real convenient for you. Super simple to literally just pull this up, lay it up against something or on the other side of the desk, this direction, because you're going to want to sit obviously here as well. So I could pull that out. I could have my chair here as well. I could put my chair over here in the corner. I could get my exercise in, prop it up, slide my chair over. Real simple. Obviously not the most largest space in the world here with my printer, etc. But I'm just showing you what you can potentially do in a small office. Books and again, shoe boxes make up something that looks pretty decent. I mean, you could probably care less, but just for the examples of this video, I'm just kind of using black items here, kind of blend in with everything. Let me show you, I raised up my monitor and that is just on a couple thick books right there, being able to lift that up a little bit more user-friendly while I'm on the treadmill. So here we are on the treadmill here. I got my keyboard right here. I can watch my DIY videos. This guy is actually a really good channel right here. Mr. Build It, I've been watching some DIYs because we got some big projects in the books soon. Mouse is up here next to the keyboard, being able to go ahead and scroll around right next to it. Again, for no carpal tunnel, you want a nice 90 degree angle where your arms are nice and straight like this here. All right, I'm gonna admit this is pretty cool. So the only thing I do need to adjust slightly would maybe putting it a little bit more back. Now I'm just going at a slow pace here. I'm just gonna hop off here. Let's go ahead and look here. We've done four minutes and five seconds and it will go ahead and just blink there 2.0. So I'm on speed two, which obviously is just a nice laid back walk. I've been doing 0.14 miles. Well, obviously that I'm off. It's super quiet. Let's go ahead and listen in for a second. Just humming along just nicely, very quiet. Again, super low profile. And what I did is I just put some black socks underneath the wheels up front just to protect my hardwood floor. Again, this is not my house. And if I wanna step it up and run, that's gonna be a little bit more shock absorbent as well and levels it out with this here. Let's go ahead and jump back on. Now I do wanna show you this. So with the books is actually really cool. So at first you're like, I don't know about no handrails or anything like that. Well, just kind of scrolling through the internet here as I'm testing this out, I noticed that when I go and use my mouse, I'm using my palm to kind of brace myself as I walk and I'm able to scroll just nicely. Boom, Amazon, YouTube, this is my tech channel right here. This is the channel that you're watching. And I can literally just scroll around. I got my keyboard right in front of me. I can check out different things, get my workout in if this is the only exercise that you get per day and you don't have time to go to a kickboxing boxing gym, the regular weightlifting gym and you wanna stay in shape, or just if you're like me and love pizza and you wanna burn it off, then I think this is a super cool option. I got my remote control right here. I got my 30 inch Dell monitor right in front of me. The only thing I do need to figure out is I can't see the LCD display. So just backing that up, moving my 
my printer out of the way, backing that up so I can see that would be definitely more appropriate. So let me get some work done, we'll be back with you. I know you can't see it right now, but I'm literally typing out my emails and it works great. I'm on, uh, I think, speed three actually right now. And it's slow enough where I can type and still scroll, but quick enough where I actually feel that my heart rate is elevated a little bit. Again, only speed three. If you're first getting used to it, you might want to start on like level two. Anything below level two, two and a half is a little bit too slow for me, but I'm going to leave it up to you and then be able to crank it out. If you want to do intervals and you're working and you're trying to get your workout in as well, jack it up to level 10. That's going to be 6.2 miles an hour. So even though I am on level three, that's not three miles per hour. It's actually going on kilometers per hour. Here in the US, we're pretty much the only people that are still off of the metric system on the standard system. So it's a little bit different. So level three, I'm guesstimating is probably a treadmill level two, maybe with two miles an hour, but I'm definitely liking it. The speed five now while I'm watching. Thanks to most all the products I use in the written article on my website. So be sure and check out that link and I did all the plumbing, turned off all the water bounds and pulled out that old. Well guys, almost three miles in, we're feeling good. Very, very nice. I'm actually building up a nice little sweat as well while I've been doing this. Almost three miles, five kilometers per hour. So that's about 3.11 miles per hour on level five. We can go even further than that. So obviously this is on the budget, but if you guys wanna step it up even more than pick yourself up a motorized sit stand up desk it's going to knock this build out of the park again i'll have the treadmill linked below as with the manscape code so you guys can get your free shipping and 20 percent off thank you to manscape once again for sponsoring this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button helps the youtube algorithm subscribe to the channel guys we will see you on the next video, make sure you are subscribed because we got some big things planned for this channel. Take care, see you on the next one. Bye-bye, I'm gonna get back to watching this video. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.